Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Okay, in this today's session, now I am going to give the clear introduction regarding the reasoning under uncertainty. So, what is the reasoning under under uncertainty? What are the things we have to take into the consideration for reasoning under uncertainty? Okay, so how do we do the do the reasoning under uncertainty and with exact knowledge? Okay. Um, Next, we are going to see this for uh, the things that are going to see for this is number one, heuristics, number two, empirical associations, number three, probabilities. What is the meaning of heuristics? The ways to mimic heuristic knowledge processing methods used by experts. Okay. So, what are the ways to work with this um, heuristic knowledge processing methods used by the experts? The next one is empirical associations. Experimental reasoning and based on limited observations. Uh, this empirical associations can some comes under experimental reasoning based on limited observations. And the last one, the probabilities in two cases, either subjective and as well as objective. Subjective is the frequency counting, objective is the free human experience. Uh, sorry, subjective is the human experience, whereas objective is the frequency counting. So, like that, uh, the reasoning under uncertainty, we do the with inexact knowledge by using the three ways heuristics, probabilities, empirical associations. Okay. So, how to make the decisions with the uncertainty in such kind of the situation? How to make the decisions in such a kind of uncertainty, kind of the environment? See, rational behavior we have to show. For each possible action, identify the possible outcomes. Okay. So, compute the probability of each outcome, compute the utility of each outcome, compute the probability weighted expected utility over possible outcome for each action, select the action with the highest expected utility. For each possible action, identify the possible outcomes. Okay. Compute the probability of each and every outcome, utility of each and every outcome and probability weighted probability utility over possible outcome of each action. Okay, that is expected utility. The next one, select the action with the highest expected utility. Which one is the having the highest ex expected utility or maximum expected utility? So, these five steps we have to take into the consideration by exhibiting the rational behavior while taking the decision in the uncertainty environments. Okay. So, what are the some relevant factors for this? Number one, expressiveness. Number two, comprehensibility. Number three, correctness. Number four, computational complexity. Number five, reproducibility. What is expressiveness? Can concepts used by humans are represented adequately? Can the confidence of experts in their decisions can be expressed effectively? That is comes under the expressiveness. Human can able to express their problems. Human can able to expect their decisions. That is comes under the expressiveness. From comprehensibility. Representation, how representation in the form of a text or in the form of a diagram, whatever it is, you are going to represent the uncertainty. Utilization in reasoning methods. Okay. So, there are so many number of the methods. Among them, you are going to utilize only some. The next one is correctness. Correctness comes under the probabilities, ranking, relevant ranking, long inference chains. And next, computational complexity. Visibility of calculations for practical purposes. What are the feasible calculations? Those only you can do for our practical applications. Okay. Reproducibility. What is the reproducibility? Will observations deliver the same results when repeated? So, whatever observations we have noted, will they repeat at the time by time whenever we do the same kind of the activity? Will it receive, will it re release the same kind of the, will it produce the same kind of the results for each and every time whenever we apply that particular knowledge or whenever we apply that particular number of the um, observe, number of the problem solving methods we applied on a complex problem. These are some relevant methods, relevant factors. Okay. So, decision reasoning with under, uh, under uncertainty, we have uh, heuristics, empirical associations and probabilities and decision making with uncertainty, we have to take care of these five considerations. Okay. And next, some relevant factors coming to expressiveness, comprehensibility, correctness, computation complexity, reproducibility. Okay. So, in the coming videos, we discuss about some more kinds of the reasoning that is called as static reasoning, statistical reasoning and as well as Bayesian reasoning. And next we are talking about Bayesian belief networks and next we are going to describe about various kinds of the learning methods. One of my requests is if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you. Thank you one and all.